It's August's favorite time, and today I'm sharing my favorites for the month of August. Hi everyone, it's Kathy. Welcome to Kathy Over 50. In today's video, I'm sharing all the things that I have been loving this August, and it has been a hot one here. I'm actually kind of looking forward to fall and the cooler weather. It's been so hot and humid this month, uh, it's really been unbearable. At Kathy Over 50, I share easy everyday makeup and fashion videos, so if that's something that's interesting to you, please hit that subscribe button. So let's get into my favorites for August. I've shown this in a few videos. It is the Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff. I love it. I know some of you have written to me and told me that you bought it and you love it too. I just use it today to do this makeup look. It is perfect and I reach for this over a powder brush. Like I don't remember the last time I used a powder brush. It's perfect. So far I've only used it for setting powders, loose and pressed, but I can't see any reason why you could use this, you know, to put on your blush or your bronzer as well. You can use both sides, but I've been sticking to the pink side. And when I use it to apply my powder, it blurs out my large pores and my skin almost looks porcelain-like. So I highly recommend this, and I think I paid under $20. So it's gonna be a lot cheaper for you guys in the States. So I've been loving this. And I love to pair it with this Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Setting Powder. And I wear it in the shade one it's a nice pressed powder, has a lovely mirror, and you know, paired with this, it really, really does a great job of giving me blurred out um, porcelain-like skin. Like I said earlier, it's really a great setting powder. It's very uh, finely milled, it's soft, you don't even notice it on your skin, and the best part is, because it's been so humid, I sweat a lot more, my skin is oily, so it really does a great job of keeping my foundation staying in place during these hot, hot days. If you didn't see my tight lining eyes video, be sure and go check that out. I struggle with tight lining, but ever since I found this pencil by Charlotte Tilbury, it's her Rock and Coal Eyeliner, and I have it in Midnight Navy. It has made tight lining so much easier for me. I have very sensitive eyes, and whenever I go near them to put my contacts in or to do any tight lining, my eyes always water and they want to close. In that video, I walk you through a few steps that you might find helpful if you have uh, struggles with tight lining. So go and check out those tips, and if you are looking for a creamy eyeliner that, you know, is going to make tight lining so much easier, I know it's a little pricey, but I've tried out tons of different eyeliners, and I really do love this one, and some of you have bought it, and you have told me that you love it too. So that's the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Eyeliner Pencil, and it's in the shade Midnight Blue. It's available in lots and lots of different colors. I have mentioned this product a lot of times in my favorites, and I'm going to keep mentioning it because it's been a real lifesaver for me in this hot, humid weather. It's the Caudalie Grape Water. I love it because I just, if I feel like really hot during the day, I can just go into my bathroom and give my face a little spritz. You can use it as a setting powder. I don't use it as a setting powder. I just use it to get extra hydration into my skin because as we mature, our skin dries. Even if you have oily skin, I, I do struggle with dry skin at times. That means that my skin is feeling a little dehydrated. So I always put some of this on at bedtime. It just makes me feel fresh and it's just an added layer of moisture that gets into my mature skin. And speaking about moisturizing mature skin, I'm really loving these rose gold eye masks by Wonder Beauty. They come in a package of uh, six pairs and each pair is individually wrapped and I just like to put them on underneath my eyes when I'm soaking in the bathtub. Uh, it really helps to hydrate the under eye area. The masks are very nourishing and there is a little bit of serum left over after I take the masks off and I just gently press it in around the eye area and up on my eyelid and it's just, I don't know, it's soothing to the skin. So I've really been enjoying these. I purchased the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash during the Nordstrom sale. It's 400 milliliters or 13 and a half US fluid ounces. It's a nice face wash. It has a very nice refreshing scent. 
Uh, a little bit goes a long way. It gets really creamy whenever uh, you mix it with water. It's supposed to help with your natural cell renewal cycle. Your skin appears smooth and radiant. My skin feels really fresh after using it. And at night, another step that I use before bed is I put on my lip sleeping mask by Laneige. This one is in Sweet Candy. I just put my little pinky in there, slather it all over my lips, and I'm sure to get it in the corner of my lips because uh, sometimes they get neglected whenever we're doing our moisturizing. And this, I wake up the next morning and it has soaked into my lips and my lips do feel nice and hydrated. So I'm really loving this. And the pink one, the scent or the flavor is Sweet Candy. It's available in several different um, flavors. And I think it's also like comes in just a regular unflavored one. And I have been using this product for years and it's really helping me because whenever it gets hot and humid, my hair is very thick, but it goes frizzy. And you can see it's starting to go frizzy today because it's like super hot out. It's by Lanza. It's their Healing Strength Neem Plant Silk Serum. I usually put one full pump. I'll rub it into my hands after I get out of the shower and I'll just work it through my hair, not concentrating so much on the roots because I don't put a lot of products on my roots because I tend to get oily. I'll just like concentrate, you know, on the, um, the bottom half of my hair and it just seems to control the frizz. Now it doesn't like totally keep the frizz away, but it's been doing a pretty darn good job. I have repurchased this so many times and I really do like lands of products. I'm gonna insert a picture of an Amazon dress that I have been wearing nonstop this summer. I picked a few up in April and I have to say I was really impressed with them. It's in the wash right now, but it's just a plain blue dress. You can dress it up, dress it down. It's been great in this hot weather. I just prefer to wear a dress. I find it's a lot cooler than having to put on a top and shorts or a skirt. So I really have been happy with some of the clothing items that I purchased from Amazon. So I just wanted to mention that. And I also wanted to show you two pairs of pajamas that I scored during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I have been trying to get these pajamas for a couple of years and they are the shorts pajamas with the short sleeve top. I also have the long, longer version for the winter. I love these. I wear them in a size XL. They wash well, they wear well. I believe they're in a few different colors. Really like them and I'm so happy that I was able to get them on sale. Cause like I said, I've been trying for a couple of years to snag those during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And I think it was like the last day I had ordered a pair the first day, but then by the time they got around to packaging my order, they must have sold out. So I just decided, oh, I'll go online, check the final day. They were there, I grabbed them and got them so happy. But I also got this pair. I think that you cannot have enough animal print in your wardrobe. I love animal print. And I bought these. These are the moonlit pajamas as well, but in animal print, aren't they fun? So I'm looking forward to cooler weather so I can wear these. And of course they have the matching bottoms and these are also in the size extra large. And I have washed these, um, well I washed them once because to put them away in my drawer, but I know that they're gonna wash well because the longer version that I have for uh, a couple of years, they're just like new. Last month I mentioned a bra and it's the Rhonda Sheer A bra. So I just wanted to show it again because it's pretty darn comfortable. And kid you not, like you don't even feel like you're wearing this bra, which I love. Um, I would go by the sizing chart on the website. I bought these on the shopping channel. I washed this in the washing machine, but on gentle, and I did not throw it in the dryer, never do. I just hang it up to dry. But these removable pads come with the bra, and there's just a little slit there. I just put one pad in to show you. There's just a little slit on the back. You slide the pad in. The straps are adjustable. I like that it has a nice wide band for on the side, you know, if you have any uh, rolls of fat under your armpit, it's great at keeping all those things tucked in. So I also have a black one. I haven't worn the black one yet, but I do really like that one. And like I said, it's really, really comfortable. And I have a TV show that I need to ask you about. We started watching Manifest on Netflix 
We suffered our way through four episodes and then we quit. Has anybody watched that show? Like, is it worth starting to watch it again? It just seemed like a really odd show that we couldn't get into. But we did find Dexter and we're loving that show. I think we're almost now at the end of season two. If you're not familiar with it, I think it's from like maybe 10 or 15 years ago, but I know I had heard about it like on Entertainment Tonight, but it's about a person that works with policemen. He's a blood splatter expert. So he works with police by day, but at night he's uh, a serial killer. It's funny, it's really not, okay, it is a little bit grotesque in some spots. I guess the best way to describe it is it's a comedy drama. So it's, it's really fun. I think there's like eight or nine seasons. We're really loving them and I highly recommend that show. So those are my favorites for August. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you are new here, I'd really love it if you subscribe. I do lots of easy everyday makeup looks and fashion videos for the woman over 50. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it and I'll see you soon. Bye.